players, players, hood certified nigga, believe that shit. Niggas <laughs> don't wanna see me poor, they'd rather have me living life with nothing at all. Praying on my downfall, but I can't lose. That fuck back and down is just something that I refuse. I refuse. You know, I've been waiting for the longest to get where, man. Niggas plotting for me to fall, but it's not for new black. So I'm focused for the plan that's gonna crush the rap game and buckle every nigga in it with chapters for my brain. My thoughts are vivid, I seen it, I done it, I lived it. The pain created a monster that thrives on my lyrics. Got me trapped in the devil's lair, pounding my chest. Like an ape guerrilla warfare My street tactics is gonna grind heavily Drop the album, put the pressure on the industry Be alone from BK to LA killer Back to the streets of bloody bean rocks Berry nigga, touch what's mine To get thrown off a fucking terrace Don't believe, trust me, niggas will perish But deep in my life, a never ending wild saga Train to spit hot shit But build the core of lava A barbarian holler Just don't wanna see me ball They'd rather have me living life with nothing at all Um, life growing up for me. Um, I'm not. I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna sit there and say that my life was extremely hard or that I had a foul childhood. You know what I'm saying? My mom did the best she could raise the three. Three sons, you know what I'm saying? Three boys, you know what I'm saying? Without my pops there. I'm not gonna say it was peaches and cream, neither. Um, I grew up in Mission Hill Projects pretty much all my life, and you know, I've seen a lot of things, man. I've seen things that I shouldn't have seen, you know what I'm saying? Done things that I shouldn't have done, and because of me not having a father, you know, I was pretty much fathered by the streets. And, um, you know, my mom didn't like the way that was going, so she kind of moved us out the hood and, uh, you know, put us in a more grown up environment where, you know, she really didn't have to worry about us going to the store and all that other crazy crap. But, um, does the, does the, does the hood have influence on my music? Absolutely, man. The things that I've been through, anything you hear me talk about on my, on my albums or any mixtape you cop. It's real, man. It's what I've been through. It's, it's, it's what I live. I can't talk about something that I ain't been through. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is and what it was and how I grew up, you know? Um, that's another thing that separates me from a lot of a lot of other people, man. You know, they, they want to make a record, but they want to talk about things that are just don't make no damn sense to their lifestyle. You got a lot of cats that are sitting out here, man, and they talking gun hole, bang, bang, I kill your moms, blow your, blow your pops' brains out, blow your girls' brains out on every song. Me, I can't do that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might hear that on some songs, some songs where I'm gangster, some songs where I'm lovey-dovey, some songs where I'm just chilling, you know, party, you know what I'm saying? But the reason why I got that universal style where there's a difference in it is because I don't live gangster every day, you know what I'm saying? I got children, so yeah, I'm a human being. I laugh, I cry, I joke, or whatever. So for me to be gangster on every song, I'm not keeping it real with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not being me. You know what I mean? So that 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 that, that kind of sounds, you know what I'm saying? Sounds bad up for us fake dudes out here. <laughs> I wanted to start rapping, like, I wanted to always do it ever since I was like nine years old, you know what I'm saying, listening to LL, you know, Run DMC, all the greats, man, Slick Rick, Rock Him, the whole nine, um, I didn't take it serious until I was about 18, 19, and um, I took a trip to California, met up with this guy, Big Chuck, he was working um, in, in, at, at Interscope, you know what I'm saying, on the 10th floor of Wilshire Boulevard. It was the A&R for um, Aftermath, and, uh, you know, we kind of hit it off, man. He heard my flow and kind of went, 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 went for it from there, man. I've been chasing it ever since. My style of rap is universal, very universal. Like, when you listen to my flow, you're going to hear a little bit of Jay-Z. You're going to hear a little bit of Biggie. You're going to hear uh, a little bit of Busta Rhymes, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, any artist that comes out 
and sit there and try to make a you know statement that oh he don't sound like nobody that's a lie because everybody has to sound like somebody there's too much music out there for you not to sound like somebody you know what i mean so okay. my style is pretty much universal basically you know even though we all might sound like somebody I bring my own swagger to the table. You know what I'm saying? The way I pronounce my words is totally different. You know, I don't pronounce my R's. You know, I'm from Beantown. We, you know, people laugh at us because we say car and park and all that other crazy stuff. You know, my lingo's totally different. My swag is different. The way I walk, the way I talk, the way I wear my hat, anything's just different about me. But, you know, you can still identify the flow from somebody who created something else back in the day. With today's music, it's it's, it's 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 real simple, you know what I'm saying? It's all about a gimmick, you know, and um, I try not to be too, too technical with the music that I make, man. I want it very catchy, appealing to the ear that when they hear it, you know, it, it sticks with them all day, you know what I'm saying? So I try to make the catchiest hooks, come up with the catchiest beats, and um, you know, back in the day, it wasn't really like that. It was a little, it was a little bit more complicated than that, and it was a, more, a, a lot more lyrical back then. You know, like right now, it's not really lyrical. It's just, you know, you're saying a little something, 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 and have it repeat for like eight bars, and boom, next thing you know, you got a hit.